Miami Beach has declared a state of emergency after a weekend of spring break chaos. Five people injured in back to back shootings. Miami Beach is now imposing a midnight to 6 a.m. curfew starting this Thursday night. But Local 10 has learned for the most part it's not tourists who are causing all the trouble. Local 10's Glenna Milber glad to explain this one. Glenna. You know, right now, 12 blocks from here, spring break central. City leaders are meeting at City Hall trying to figure out how to rid Miami Beach of spring break totally. That is what the goal has been for a few years, but the numbers we're now learning. It's not really about spring break tourism at all. The spring breakers may bring the crazy, but it looks like the locals are the ones bringing the crime. Where are you from? Maryland. I'm from Jersey. I'm from New York. Nashville, Tennessee. Some first timers, some are spring break regulars. Looking at palm trees, you know, eating good food. <laughs> the special police presence, tourist attraction by day, is overwhelmed by night. City leaders' years long efforts to get spring break off South Beach may seem focused on annual visitors. City of Miami Beach has declared a state of emergency. But stats show the locals may be most to blame. Like the 19 year old arrested Monday, he's from Hialeah. The Smith and Wesson, with an altered serial number he reportedly ditched, is among 37 weapons seized just in the last few days. Certainly, the guns that are here didn't come on an airplane, obviously. So we know that uh, much of the worst conduct is coming from people who literally live somewhere near South Florida. According to Miami Beach Police, since spring break enforcement started on February 18th, more than half the citywide arrests are people who live locally in Miami-Dade. Causeway crossers, not spring break tourists. Those numbers on track to match spring break one year ago. Then, of 636 arrests in the South Beach Entertainment District, fully 508 of them were locals, more than 100 weapons seized. You can't balance uh, money you're getting from uh, visitors and resort taxes with public safety. So we're always going to err on the side of making sure we're safer than not. Even said the mayor if that might be detrimental to some businesses. So right now there's a lot of ideas being bounced around. Our crews at City Hall report that one of the commissioners actually suggested maybe we pay for businesses to actually shut down during spring break. Uh, there is a lot of disagreement on what kind of steps to take, but it is pretty unanimous that something has to be done to make it safer. I'm Glenna Milberg, live on South Beach today, Local 10 News.